On Saturday, March 19th, 2011, I attended the Left Forum in New York City. Here I am showing the uh, generic I'm tired and we're driving bit of footage. We went and uh, got the hopped on the subway in the Bronx and then uh, came out on the island to Pace University. Uh, I know it's impossible for anyone to truly be objective, but I tried my best to take as wide a picture as I could of this event. I was only here for one day with a limited amount of camera memory, and even after I filled the memory card, I had to edit it down to a video. It is my choices, conscious or otherwise, of what to show. This was a gathering of thousands, all with different affiliations and ideologies. One uniting factor being all identified themselves as being a part of the left. Dozens of panel discussions and presentations covering all manner of topics from hydrofracking to alternate economic theories, which led to the inevitable debates over ideology and otherwise, ensued and the majority agreed that arguments were appreciated to help shape personal beliefs. What better way to help establish your own values if you don't defend them against opposing viewpoints? The first place I went to was the Art and Exhibition Hall, where there was much artwork and uh, merchandise being sold, and many people just trying to get their message across. There were also many different political party tables, old and new, and some seeming just completely obsolete. There were so many issues people were trying to get support for, I could easily see how folk were getting overwhelmed if they tried to pay equal attention to all. It is something we have to struggle with, not only at places like this, but throughout our lives. We have to pick our priorities, what matters to the most of us, or we will find ourselves drowning in hundreds of issues, unable to help at all. And the exhibition hall was full of books, more than anything else, from pamphlets on self-defense to forgotten history, with authors ranging from the only independent senator to that guy from the Princess Bride, known for saying, INCONCEIVABLE! It was among these books I was approached by a member of the Socialist Workers' Party, one of the last supporters of Castro. She was selling newspaper subscriptions, and I asked if she wanted to say anything on camera. Hi, my name is Ruth, and I'm advocating that everyone read the Militant newspaper. This is a revolutionary socialist paper that advocates for the working class, represents the needs of the working class against what capitalism is doing to us today. Once people saw me recording, others approached, asking if they could speak as well. It was at this point I realized with limited camera memory and my desire to make a short video, I would again have to make a choice on who to show. After walking around for a bit longer, browsing the covers of many interesting books, I found a progressive entrepreneur, and I decided he would be a more moderate perspective to show. Hi, I'm uh, Jim Galvick. I'm a chief smackologist for smackhat.com. I started this website and store, web store in August of last year. I actually had worked for the enemy before. I had worked for an insurance company, which I got uh, annoyed at uh, having to endure the corporation kind of a thing. So I actually quit that job and decided to do something more meaningful. At smackcat.com, and that's S-M-A-K-K-E-T.com, I also have a resources and news page where I have uh, websites of very important um, um, individuals who are doing research on how corporations are trying to take over our government, uh, why we should stand up for Main Street instead of Wall Street, that kind of a thing. After a few small group panel discussions, I went out into the courtyard for lunch. It was here I started thinking about why all these people decided to come here. These days all we hear about is how apathetic the American people are, yet here we were, many of us, just not out of anger or malice, but through our desire and hope that through participation we can make a better world. My name's Ann Lee. I just went to a panel on using art against hydrofracking, which is a process to extract natural gas that's going to destroy the land and contaminate the water supply and uh, it was really inspiring to see what people were doing. So I'm um, here, I'm a member of the Green Party, I'm really interested in the environmental issues, especially with what's happening in Japan, it's pretty timely. The theme at the Left Forum this year was solidarity. I witnessed brilliant debates between different ideologies. Whether you agree with this conference or not, I still encourage you to be active in your world. Seek out your own beliefs and help to leave the world better than you found it. Hi, this is Juan. We are at the Left Forum. Uh, I came all the way from DC because uh, the situation in the world is uh, pretty difficult for all of us, and we have to start 
uh, forming this type of uh, event to see where we're going. It's a unity between activists and academics. So it's a wonderful thing. I think uh, doing this will uh, give us a path to uh, find many successes.